Hello there, I'm Aljo Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 and Millennium Dawn. We are restoring the British Empire. It is the 7th of April 2007, and I am recording this live from my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash Hill, and the link is in the description. We are basically amazing. In the last episodes, we conquered all of India, annexed all of them, and uh, I'm now amassing forces to prepare for an invasion into China. The reason we're invading into China is because we can't really invade anywhere else. Any other country we invade in the rest of the world will basically immediately join NATO or the CSTO. And if they do that, I have to fight everybody. This is a lot easier. This allows me to fight, um, you know, the big small dogs, like China. The only other person who's actually in that faction is Hong Kong. I mean, I imagine as soon as I attack people like uh, Myanmar, uh, they will immediately join them, but that's fine. There's also North Korea, which could be very useful for us. Because I think... Yeah, it's got a, North Korea has a lot of steel and a lot of, well, a decent amount of factories. So we should be fine in doing that. But of course, Korean Republic will join NATO, which we do not want to touch. Hello, new viewers. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. It's going to make sure that chat is showing up. So when people do make chat messages, you are actually able to be seen on this stream. I'll be turning off Revlon notification as well. Yes, chat is up. Hooray. Let's do it. So, basically, it's all about getting equipment together and building up enough troops. I am mass producing uh, spam divisions, which are useful for basically just like filing in. Like the entire front line. And they're not very strong, but they're useful for for piling it in. Uh, the marine brigades are going to be useful for the actual marine invasions. Armor brigades for tanks. Infantry brigades are kind of like the main force. And finally, the actual engineer brigades who are going to be like spreading out across the world. However, we're going to need so much infantry equipment. It's not even funny. Uh, light mechanized is a very, very huge deficit. And tanks is a small amount of deficit. It's not too bad. However, it looks like we need some more steel, if we want to carry on anything. F Hello, Eva. Still not got the upstarts of America yet. Return to 13 colonies. Yeah, we have not managed to completely destroy uh, the Americans just whoops, just yet. Uh, but we will, rest assured. The Americans will pay for daring to, you know, have independence or whatever. Oh, Max Factory output. Oh, that's 2008. That's 2008. Lame. Lame, 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 lame. Uh, we can get some air doctrines or whatever. That could be good. Interception detection. Because I'm definitely going to need to put some planes out in the fields. Ah, let's get some light tanks. Or should there be 52 colonies? 52? Where's this? Where's the other two? Because there's 50 for America. What's the... Are there two other states? I know Puerto Rico is considering being added as, as a state. Oh. Hey. This one technically actually has them belonging... This belonging to the US. That's weird. Technically, this is owned by the U.S. That's weird. Well, Puerto, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory rather than a state. I know Alaska went down here. I had no idea about that. Oh, oh what do you know? I didn't know this. That's fine. Uh, USA Majit have integrated. Oh, they might have integrated. Yeah, the AI might have integrated. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Uh, outdated equipment in production because what do we have in production? Ah, the, the fighters. Yes, better fighters for us all. We're gonna need to wait quite a while until we get enough supply uh, to be able to actually do things. Mexico fortified the southern border. The American federal and private companies would would, would be allowed to massively fortify the jungles of the Yucatan to keep illegal immigrants from Belize and Guatemala out of both countries. Uh huh. <laughs> What? Mexico's making a wall for south of Mexico? What? Our ma one of our major cities needs a new hospital. Okay. Sure. Provide federal fund. Well, no, I don't have federal funds. What is this? Personal defense weapons. Yay. Defense weapons. I have my fan on as well, so I do hope that people watching this on YouTube do not get an overwhelmingly loud amount of noise. That is my dream hope anyway. So we're going to need to wait a fair while until all the equipment we need is is uh, dealt with. Why do I need even more steel? Ah, oh, because I just changed the planes, of course. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, oh, more oil. Ah, you're getting so much to the U.S. I don't want that. But look at all the factories we got, though. So many factories. Love it. And we're going to get even more soon. <laughs> all right. So basically, we're just kind of waiting until we have everything we need. Why do I need rubber? What the shit? God, there's so many things to have to build and construct and maintain. 
Fucking frigates, fine. Ah, uh, now we got outdated uh, light tanks, don't we? There you go. What else is outdated? What? Nothing else is outdated. What are you talking about? You're crazy. And now I need more oil. <sighs> Nothing is outdated. Oh, it just was lagging behind. This game definitely has some lag issues. Some. So I'd like to try and continuously build some more factories as well. And what exactly is our factory priority right now? So currently we're building a lot of light mechanized. Uh, infantry equipment is, to be honest, although we have the most deficit there, it's going to be built so fast. It's mainly light mechanized that we really need and also a bit of motorized. Wow, that's a lot of motorized. So let's just check that bad boy in there. There we go, that should be fine. I guess we should get some actual more light mechanized as well. What? Why is all my steel? God damn it. Oh, it's because I built factories. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll just keep going with this bad boy. Alright, so we're getting some of those dank divisions. Motorized definitely needs to kind of catch up to itself. Wow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should, we should maybe start to produce more. Yeah. Is it because of the, the yeah, it's because of the spam divisions I've just made. Yeah. Oh, man, look at all that spam. 25 divisions worth of spam, which are all, those who weren't aware, who were just watching the last episode, the spam divisions are quite literally one single motorized with logistics and engineer. And the whole purpose is basically just to rush fronts and take everything. Bulgaria joins the EU, to be expected. I wonder if one of these assholes are going to go down the route of full EU integration. Yeah, if they go down one Europa. Won't that be interesting for us? Yes. Okay. Oh, hello, Sidon. Do you have any good shit on you? Not really. Oh, look at that. We built so many factories. Okay. We're actually out of room for factories. Wow. Ah. Europa Universalis. What about Europa Universalis, Effa? Let's keep getting some military factories in the UK. I think it's going to be a great idea. Uh, another possible thing is to try and get some air superiority. Actually, you know, we already have air plurts. It's fine. Not a lot, but... Europa Universalis. Translate it. What? What are you saying? I'm being asked to translate Europa Universalis. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're European, right? It's like Euro European Universalis, like Universal Europe. Right? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. I'm not a Latin man. Do I look like a Latin man? Uh, artillery? No. Naval Doctrine? Yes. Beautiful. And so we wait for months upon months for us to get up enough equipment. Hey, we're finally okay for infantry equipment. That's good. So let's 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 not build any more uh, spam divisions. We only need the fifty, I think. We just want to get everything. As soon as they're trained and recruited, we're going to head them all over to uh, India. We're going to build the front line. We're going to plan the naval invasions. We're going to need a three-pronged naval attack in the south, east, and the capital area. We're going to need forces, uh, a, general each, a general's worth each port to open up the front. And then, of course, a general in this area to push along this terrain, which will be delicious. These guys are probably mostly most of the spam dudes to try and take this big empty expanse, whereas these guys will need to be the heavy dudes because there's a lot of really valuable territory. It should capitulate pretty quickly. Then we can just justify North Korea. Uh, where else? Maybe some places like Vietnam. And from there, it'll basically be about... Oh, Universal Europe. So yeah, means like one Europe. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was like Pan Europa was the idea for Universal Europe. But yeah, this is going well. We just got to push really hard into China. And once we've got that, the sheer amount of factories that we get, we're going to gain from taking China 
uh, and the sheer resources we're going to gain are going to basically mean we will rule the world. And with that factory power that we'll have, we'll recruit even more troops. And we'll just power, we'll just, you know, power over and overpower the rest of the world. It may take a few years to get enough power to do that, but I don't have a worry. I really wish, I wish I could just say, you know what? Auto update stuff, okay? Literally just auto update it. I don't care. That is, is that all the ships I'm building? No, I'm, I'm building carriers. Destroyers, submarines, frigates. I think some more subs would be a good shout. God damn it. More rubber, seriously. I think maybe I should put uh, civilian factories to be an additional construction somewhere. Like in Ireland. There you go. So that we are actually building some factories. Delicious hydration. Good. Because, you know... Ooh, hit my microphone. Hussy, buddy, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Blitzkrieg, indeed. Except we are not Nazis. We're, of course, monarchists. The Windsor Party are glorious. What is that? Is that a storm emote? Hussy, that's amazing. I love it. Oh, my God. How much... You, we always need more resources. God damn it. It's okay, because once we've taken Ger once we've taken China, ain't no one going to stand in our way. They do have a lot of troops. Uh, like, maybe 200-ish. But we're having tactics. That's what we got. So once these spam divisions have finished, uh, we'll fill them up. Once this engineer brigade is finished, that'll be the last engineer brigade. And that'll probably be the last infantry brigade as well. And I think the last armored brigade. Once they're all done, I will just pile them all to where they need to be. Oh, yeah. So many divisions. Ugh. Awesome. Lightning bell. That's cool. It's pretty dank. All right. Wait, no, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. It's 2008 where I get the next production efficiency. Seriously, more steel. Ah! And oil. I'm losing factories like crazy here. It's because I'm constantly building more and more military factories, so we're constantly putting more and more stuff into things. So, look, they're motorized. Is basically... Is motorized filled out now? Yes. Nice going to overcome the, the huge motorized deficit we have. 284 days for that. 467 for that. The mechanized is a, a problem in its own. Surprisingly, we're actually okay for tanks. This is fine. Hey, new viewers, welcome to... Thank you so much for joining me. What is up, my friends? How are we doing today? So, we're going to be kicking some butt, guys. That's what we're going to do. We just gotta be smart about this, because obviously we're gonna need to push into China, and we're gonna need to not be obliterated. Hey, Cruise Control buddy, welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for joining me. What is up? Uh, what is up? Alright, points. Only 30 Alderfish. Cruise spent all of his Alderfish points in uh, on gambling and basically making me do push-ups, which you can do on stream. Which is just fantastic. Oh, come on, I want to invade! You know what we might do is I might start to plan the invasions. So, let me just... Let me just get all the marines in the right place right now. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to go around we're going to look for all the marines. Here, marines, marines, marines. Controversial court ruling. Protests broken out after a ruling handed down regarding a local business scandal did not meet the expectation. So is the law, or lose political power but gain stability. Okay, cool. We can popularize the ruling. Well, obviously. I don't really need political power, so this is basically free stability. Okay. We have a lot of political power, though. Holy shit. What do I do about this? Wow. That is a lot of stuff. What in the shit? Let's get some uh, medium aircraft. Nope, can't do that. Can you do any of these? Yes, I can do these ones. Uh, light aircraft designers, then. That's fine. Okay. And we got another tech. Doopy doopy doo. Hello. There's definitely some lag. I can really feel it. 
Got some gambles in there. No virtue. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. If you need more factories, go free trade. Else you get a boost of research. Well, I am already uh, export focus. The thing is, I do get well. No, I get five percent more factories. So I get five percent more factories uh, from free trade, and I get five percent construction speed and five percent research. But I also lose thirty percent of my resources. So I'd have to lose even more of my factories to go uh, of uh, to trading stuff because loads of stuff would be deleted. Whoops. So at the moment we have just twenty. We have twenty-three. So we're gonna need to divide these guys into three. All right. So we got that much at least. So first of all, let's start planning the naval. Oh my god! Always with the resources, please. So many factories. So we're gonna need a variety of different naval invasions here. So first of all, these ones are gonna go from here. The first offense is gonna go directly into. Uh, I was probably there is a good shout, like right there. That seems the best to do. Second slot will go from there, and they will go right into the eastern section, which will be in Shanghai. We see them push into Nanjing. And the third section will go right from here in Calcutta, and they will invade right into the port next to Beijing. So those three separate naval invasions will give us the beachhead necessary. Actually, no. Because it looks like it's, they're going to try and cut across the land there. So we don't want that. No, 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 no. So we don't want that. So we want to go from Calcutta. And we're going to have to go to the tip, which is there. Because otherwise I think they'll just try to be stupid and go over there. But this will actually get them access to ports. And we'll fill it with marines. Get up enough marines for them. And everything will be fine. I'm pleased with this. Always the oil. Simulation next everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. What is up, my friend? We're recording a little bit of uh, Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dodd, the story in the British Empire, live on the stream. It's going to be good times. All right. How's my recruitment going, boys? Pretty mediocrely. Oh, God. It's going to take a long time. Do I have enough Marines? So we're definitely going to want to... Hang on, go away. Just go away. So we don't have... We just don't have enough Marines. So I need two more Marine divisions. Alright, that's fine. There we go. Much better. Kokan, buddy, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. What is up, my friend? How you doing? Love to see lots of my lovely regulars on stream. We're kicking some butt, man. We're kicking some butt. Ooh, marine organization. Excellent. So, like I said, the plan is to basically push into the eastern sections of China with our marine invasions and then bring forces as well to support them. Uh, spam divisions will come from the west to overwhelm the defenses here, try and keep their armies occupied while we pull in along the eastern side and hopefully just take all the capitals. Because, to be honest, except for, like, Shonqing up here and a few places up there, most of the victory points are along the coastline. So, we got... Some points there. We got ten in Nanning. We got lots of points. There's only one there. Oh, actually, no. There's quite a lot in the middle sections. <laughs> Filthy Westerners. You know it. We're gonna be Easterners soon. This will get us Shanghai really easily, which would be great. And we'll get Nanjing and Hangzhou, and we can take Beijing very quickly as well. It's actually only worth twenty, weirdly enough. And once we've taken everything, we should be fine. All right. So we're actually now out of factory space, which is hilarious to me. Uh, so 170 days for that. Light mechanized is 300 days, and mechanized is 86. So we definitely need to put more into light mechanized. There you go, baby. All right. I sound confident. This is good. Yes, Sakari, I'm very confident. This is definitely going to be an invasion that's going to happen very well. Uh, nothing's really going to stop me, to be honest. I don't foresee any kind of defeat. Uh, we should basically completely destroy them. The only possible risks would be if I, if like my naval invasions get sunk or whatever. Yep, purge these fools, increase my stability and political power, which I don't really need. Remember when Britain invaded China? We didn't invade. Oh yeah, remember? Yeah, sorry, I thought you were talking about real life. Sorry, Kyokam. Yeah, I remember when uh, Britain invaded China. It was a good time. It was the best. It was the best time ever. It was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. I really just want the invasion to happen now. I'm kind of getting bored waiting. And when I get bored, I like, I start doing stupid shit. You know me. But I don't want to move my troops over and start the invasion uh, too soon. I don't want to wreck myself. 
I'd like to have the time it's going to take to move my troops to China is going to be the time I need to build up a stockpile of reserve of resources to be able to, uh, we're going to, to lose them in the actual incoming fights, which is perfect. It should be fine. We're just powering through. Right. And once we're taking China, I mean, it's going North, North, North Korean peoples. There may be people like the Islamic Republics, because they're not going to, they're most likely not going to join CSTO. I can't imagine they would do that. I'm almost certain they would not join that. So I could invade things like Pakistan, Iran, Afghanistan, and then CSTO should not join. And there's a lot of stuff there. So I think we're doing pretty well, guys. Uh, obviously, this episode was a lot of like preparation and stuff. Why are you going through Malaysia? Dude, what are you doing? Please st st stop, stop it. Uh, make sure you check out the other series I have on my channel. And as always, leave me a like and a comment. It's so greatly appreciated. Let me know what you think. And of course, you can find my Patreon in the description if you want to support me further. So I was Alger Hill, and I'll continue to be. And this has been some Hearts of Iron 4 Millennium Dawn, restoring the Great British Empire. That's right. Bye-bye.